Next, pensions. A staggering one in four of us doesn't know where our money has ended up. The days of a job for life are gone. Instead, people are likely to work for a number of different organisations. Some employers offer their own pension scheme. Now, if these different pots of money aren't consolidated, it's remarkably easy to lose track of who's got your cash. You'd think that getting your hands on your pension would be a relatively simple process. After all, it is yours. But it seems keeping track of it is no longer the easy task it once was. I've come to Chester to meet a man who's been trying to locate his pension fund for nearly a year now. And incredibly, even though he's been searching all this time, he's still no closer to finding out where his retirement money is. Mike Skinner works here at the Riverside campus of the university. Mike, when I knew it was a pension story, I was expecting an older man than you. You're fit and well, are you? I'm fit and well, thank you, Chris. Yes. <laughs> yeah, how old are you? 53. Right, so what made you think about tracing your pension fund? With the new job that I've taken up, there was a good pension fund, and what I wanted to do was to add my old pensions to that pot. I want to know how much I'm going to be worth to my grandchildren and my children when I hit 65. Mike has worked for various different companies throughout his career. In three of those jobs, he made monthly payments into company pension schemes. But over time, as he moved from job to job, he lost the details of where each pension was and how much money each was worth. So task number one was finding them again. How easy was it to track down the money and get the money in the account? Two of the companies, it was very easy. You speak to the pensions administrator at the companies, they give you a figure, that's the figure you transfer into your current pension pot. Now you say it was easy with them, but not with all of them? No, it wasn't so easy for Tatung. Uh, that's a company based in Telford, about an hour away from here. OK. You want to show me where you used to work? Yeah. Come on, then. This is the former headquarters of the electronics firm Tatung UK Limited. Now, Mike worked here during the 1990s, and in that time, he believes he paid around £5,400 into the company pension scheme. Since leaving, he hasn't given this place much thought, presuming he'd know where to find them if he ever needed to. So when you were trying to track down your pension pot yep. with Tatung, what happened? Well, I rang the old phone number for Tatung UK Limited. Somebody else answered the phone. Nothing to do with Tatung. Tatung doesn't exist anymore. With Tatung UK out of business, Mike did some research and came across a government organisation called the Pension Tracing Service. Used by almost 100,000 people a year, they were set up to help people like Mike find their pensions. But they had no record of what happened to the Tatung UK company scheme. So once again, Mike was on his own. Eventually, using social media sites, he managed to track down a former colleague. I was very lucky to make a contact with someone who worked with me in sales, who knew somebody in marketing, who knew somebody in the accounts department, who knew the general manager, who happened to have the name of the pension administrator at the time, who happened to have the basic information for me to trace the pension through Scottish widows. Pension schemes can actually be sold from company to company. Your former employees have to inform you, though, if that happens. But if you've changed job, address or surname in the meantime, it's easy for that information to get lost in time. But Mike's colleague was able to give him one crucial piece of information, that at some point the Tatung Company pensions had been bought by Scottish widows. So, automatically, now it's bingo, it's time to celebrate. The cash is coming in, right? No. Why not? They said eventually that, yes, yes, we do have a pension for you that's worth £1,915. I knew that it couldn't be right. I knew the moment he said it, as I know that I'd paid in around £5,400, that this couldn't be the pension fund. Or if it was, it was only part of it. So you've hit another brick wall? Yep. OK, well, we're going to try and help you out as much as possible. We'll do a bit of rummaging. Can't promise anything, but uh, keep your fingers crossed. Thanks, Chris. Cheers. We asked pension tracing specialist Sean Davis to take a look at Mike's case for us. He searched company records, contacted over 20 different pension providers and spoke to independent advisers. A week later, I brought Mike to hear the results. OK, the moment of truth for you, Mike. <laughs> uh, first and foremost, 
Tell Mike what happened to his pension then, what happened to the Tatung pensions? The Tatung pensions were split. Um, so they went to legal in general and to Scottish widows. You were only in one of those schemes. Okay. And that scheme was what tra got transferred to Scottish widows. Right. I know that you're going to say, it. what happened to my money? Why has it gone from £5,000 to less than two? Yeah. That pension pot, over, over time, is now reduced down to, to what it is, under £2,000. Oh, yeah. right. How do you feel about that? Well, that's a bit disappointing. Yeah. Right, so there isn't another pot somewhere. What was in there, that's all that's left. That is correct. Right. It turns out that Scottish widows bought Mike's pension fund in 2005 at a value of £1,339. But we know that Tatung UK wound up the pension in 1995, so that leaves a whole 10 years unaccounted for. What happened to Mike's pension in that time? Well, it may have been invested badly, or it may not have been that big in the first place. Either way, Mike's tale is a cautionary one. If he'd kept on top of things and checked his fund every year, the minute it began to lose value, he could have pulled it out and reinvested it elsewhere. I'm glad I started it now and I'm not 64 and three quarters trying to find me pensions. Um, obviously, I'm disappointed that somehow my pension pot has managed to decrease. I've got two other pensions that I found which are OK, um, but it shouldn't be this complicated. It shouldn't be this tough to find a pension. Hearing Mike's stories made me realise how important it is to keep a close eye on your pension. It can get so complicated and you don't always know where they'll end up. The crucial point is don't leave it until you're old. Deal with it now. <laughs>